Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. Your accountant should provide you with the amounts to enter for depreciation of your fixed assets. They should at least double check your depreciation entries. After you have those amounts, you can enter them into the decrease column of the register for the primary fixed assets, or if using subaccounts for fixed assets, it's accumulated depreciation subaccounts register. The amount in the register transaction is then attributed to a primary expense account like depreciation expense or one of its subaccounts if you create subaccounts for the primary depreciation expense account based on fixed asset categories, which is often required for some types of filings. Alternatively, you can also record fixed asset depreciation using the journal entry window versus using the account registers if desired. If using subaccounts for major fixed assets, note that the fixed assets accumulated depreciation subaccount always has a negative balance. This is because it is a contra account, which means it tracks the loss of value to the primary fixed asset, which is its parent account. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.